Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day nine of this 31 day juice feast and I'm feeling so good. I feel like I have finally gotten into a good groove of everything. And as long as I have a pre-made juice at home when I get home from work, or if I have produce ready to juice by the time I get home from work, that makes all of the difference for me. I've generally been bringing two uh, full mason jars full of juice with me to work and I spread that throughout the day. But uh, having another juice in the evening has been really, really beneficial lately. This morning I had, actually I made a juice that was pretty much like the sweet potato dream with six strawberries in it. Friends, oh my gosh, I love juicing strawberries. It wasn't until this juice feast that I first tried that and I am hooked. This evening, my partner made us a phenomenal grape, strawberry, and blueberry juice. Ah, I can already feel how powerful that is. It was a very astringent juice. Uh, and by astringent, I just mean that the juice literally pulls on your mucous membranes. Imagine biting into a lemon and all of the tissues in your mouth puckering up. That's precisely what happens whenever we drink these or eat really astringent fruits. Um, it literally pulls on our mucous membrane and our lymph as it moves throughout the body. So it helps actually pull mucus free so we can flush it out of the body. Pretty cool stuff. With all of that said, I wanted to take today to talk to you about healing generational trauma. If any of you have seen one of the newer progressive insurance commercials where Flo visits her sister, this is a really prime example of trying to break that generational trauma. So it looks like Flo gets a call from her sister who wants information on insurance, right? So Flo comes over. She's all excited to be able to see family. Her sister opens the door. She's wearing her baby. But her sister is really standoffish, but very insistent that Flo keeps talking to her about that insurance, right? So Flo is trying to be her peppy positive self and, and give her relative this great information on something she feels will help her out. Now, as soon as her sister gets the information she needs, it's sleeping baby. And she closes the door right in Flo's face. To which Flo says, well, okay, love you too, and walks away. This really paints a prime picture of what many of us can unfortunately expect along our healing journey. Not all of us. Friends, I have worked with, uh, with clients and I have friends that come upon new information. They get excited about it. They share it with their families and their families are on board. And the entire family is working on their health and wellness together. It is, it is one of the most beautiful things ever, in my opinion. For many of us that got into the healing arts, we entered this field either because we were sick and we were trying to heal something in our bodies or a friend or loved one was sick and we were trying uh, desperately to find information to help them out. As we take on this responsibility of doing this research and part of that research is actually trying things on for size and not simply reading a book and regurgitating what other people say, but really experimenting with your own body to see what resonates, to see what holds truth. Some of us will continue along our healing journeys, trying to be the best examples that we can possibly be for our friends and family and hope that our positive results, that our successes will inspire them to do the same, that they will take some steps in taking better care of their health. I bring this topic up because a couple family members have come to me recently about this juice feast that I'm on. And literally the very first thing out of their mouth is, Leslie, I don't know how you do it with your diet, with your lifestyle. I could never do that. So let's break that down. 
I feel there are several parts of generational trauma. We, of course, have uh, poor communication skills that we may pick up from family. We have genetic weakness, lymphatic congestion, all of these things we are, in essence, inheriting. And it's not really up to us to place blame on our parents or our grandparents or whoever. We are here to take responsibility for our health and well-being. But it is important to understand how these routines uh, start and how we can break the routines, how we can start to incorporate healthier routines in our family so we can continue a strong lineage of beautiful health, of, of a strong communication with ourselves and with others. Part of this generational trauma can very well be a mindset a negative mindset that creeps into every aspect of life. This is something that many of us have to actively pay attention to and constantly be reframing those negative thoughts that come into our minds. I really love this bluesy song called A Thought Is Just A Passing Train and I'll post that in the description box below. But it really is. Thought literally comes in and it barrels through whatever you're doing like a train and it's up to us to master the mind and to continually redirect that thought oh i noticed that thought hello goodbye back to what i'm doing back to the present moment it is our responsibility to take care of our health our happiness and our well-being no one else is going to do it for us and as you continue along your healing journey i encourage you to stay strong in your resolve Continue taking care of yourself and being the wonderful example that your friends and family need you to be. Even if they don't jump on board, if they're not really understanding where you're coming from, even if they're challenging what you're doing, approach them with love, compassion, understanding. Try to explain to them where you're coming from. Offer opportunities to share that lifestyle with them and to pull them in in a loving and supportive manner. If they are still resistant to that change, continue loving them and accepting them as is. We are each on our own individual journey and it's not up to us to judge others based on where they are right now. This can be really difficult when we're dealing with friends and family, the very people that we care about the very most. For many of us, the very people that we started this whole journey for. I wanted to share with you friends a picture that I have on my vision board. I used to have this in my cube at work, but I now have it on my vision board because I want a daily reminder that being weird is a pretty awesome thing. So here, if you can see this, it says being considered crazy by those who are still victims of cultural conditioning is a compliment, right? And here you are, here you are. You're that person trying to break free of all this generational trauma BS. Breaking that generational trauma is not an easy thing. But it's necessary if we want to continue to grow and learn with each other. If we want to continue being better and building up this world. It's up to each of us. And I believe in you. Well, that is it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day nine of this juice feast. If you would like any kind of assistance on your health journey, send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is hol-tox.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.